All right. We're gonna we're gonna handle this. Oh, you you're blocking it with your damn pincer face. That is not fair. I want a pincer face. Guys had that. Okay, two more. And then the one in the back somehow. I don't I don't even know how we're supposed to get to that one, but we're gonna try. Oh, there we go. There's ammunition. Eek! And there's ammunition. Yeah, it's in the... Oh, I see. Down there. All right. And... Wow. Can we reach... Yes, we can. Still have to aim, though. <laughs> Got all jammed up in the flywheel. Oh, that was terrible. That was shamefully bad. I've got a little bit of ammunition left, but not nearly enough to be doing that kind of crap. Ready. Oh, you're 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 gonna be like that. There we go. There's one. And oh, <laughs> what a jerk! All right, we're looking for ammunition. Do the uh, stun things work at all? It keeps... Uh, they're too slow. Yeah, they don't do anything. Oh, hey, I got more ammunition from somewhere. Oh. <laughs> Six ammunition for canister this time. Uh oh. He may have lost it.
done it! Not quite, I'm afraid. Five more. Shields. Big one destroyed. Shields at four percent. We got no chance. What are we gonna do? I have one last plan. What would happen if I rerouted all weapons power to the engine? The whole thing would blow up. Take a monkey. It's the only way. It's... it's not the only way! You have to be clear of the blast radius. Monkey! Do it! Do it now! We no! Don't have no! Pixie, no! We made it! We did it! We got rid of Pigsy, even though he didn't technically do anything wrong. We got rid of him. Let me down. Now what do we do with this pyramid? What's even in the pyramid? Quite the army of slaves. Stop. What are you doing here? Why are you attacking me? Who are you? I am Pyramid. It's you who's been attacking us. Enslaving us. I have enslaved no one. I rescue people from the wasteland. I give them life. You give them life? What do you mean? You do not understand what Pyramid is. I can explain. Pyramid is the memories of one man who lived before the war. We store his memories of the world that once was. I am Pyramid. I am that man. But I am more than a memory. I am more than an archive. I am... an ark. These pictures... That's what I've been seeing. Through the headband. You are seeing the world that they share with me. They are not slaves. They are citizens. They don't look much like they citizens to me. They have marriages. They bring up their children. Their children go to schools. You have no schools. You have mechs. Your world is a wasteland in which you fight to survive. Pyramid 
is a world in which you can live. But you are destroying this world for the sake of the old one. See for yourself. See what they have before you take it away. Sounds like a Go nice on. offer, but I think I'm going to have to Go get Pigsy to do it. Put you remember mask. Pigsy, don't you? Monkey. Just wait. Trust me. Is it stuck to his face? Don't let it be stuck to his face. That's the most she's done since about a third of the way through the game. Oh, you killed the Pope head. It's done. So now do we have to go around and take off the headbands all these guys down on the ground? Did I do the right thing? Oh, that's great. We don't have to do it. They can take it off themselves now. That that would have been like a lifetime task. Just going around taking off headbands. So that was Enslaved, Odyssey to the West. I really enjoyed that game. There was nothing about it that stood out as absolutely spectacular. Just everything was really, really good. Which is kind of the best way to make a game. That, I, In my experience, the games that I've enjoyed the most over the last several years are the ones that didn't do anything trend-setting necessarily. They just did things very, very well. The combat was good. It had uh, some issues with perspective, moving around, trying to take a look at things, change position, change the direction you're attacking. Not always the easiest thing to do, but overall the combat was very satisfying, very visceral. You really got the feeling that you were beating the crap out of these mechs. The bosses were actually, I thought, really interesting. The demo mechs, the dogs, uh, and ultimately the scorpion boss climbing all over the Leviathan was pretty cool. That was probably one of the best executed boss fights that I've seen in a long, long time. Just because everything that you're doing kind of made sense in the context of destroying this great big scorpion mech, but it was varied throughout the entire process, so it wasn't just this drawn out, um, you know, kind of uh, hit point attrition style fight where you're just beating the crap out of something for the sake of beating the crap out of it. There was a lot of diversity in the fight, and of course, the story. Um, with Andy Circus doing all of the work. I should, I, that's, what a horrible thing to say. He didn't do all the work, but obviously, uh, as an anchor for the whole game, did a really good job. The motion capture, 
the voice work, everything was really, really spot on. I would play this game again. I would, and I would highly recommend to anyone, even though you've now seen the story, if it, you see it at a good price and you want to give it a go and just have it for the sake of the experience of playing through the game, I would highly recommend it. So I'm going to let you watch the rest of the credits because all these people clearly worked hard on this game, and we'll see you in the next game. Thanks for watching, guys, and take care.